It's very real, but it is all training for Jeffersonville police officers. WDRB's Christy Batista tells us why authentic scenarios like this help keep you safe. Police officers are using the Clark County 4-H fairgrounds for training, being called to different scenarios here. They have it set up like a city, and officers are currently working a scene over at the Saddle Club. Driver, put your hands out the window. It's a real life scenario in a safe environment. How we train and how we interact with the public, um, that's a relationship and we must be able to have respect for that public and respect for the community that we serve. Step out. Officers here are conducting what they call a high risk traffic stop. They do not go up to the driver. Instead, they have him come to them. Walk back towards me. We can simulate the normal patrol operations. You have multiple structures, and we have officers that are responding just like they would in a call. It's part of a weeks long training for Jeffersonville police officers. This trailer serves as the dispatch center and they're called to traffic stops like that or domestic violence situations. Even something they say they encounter multiple times a day. Someone acting out at a business. In this case, it's happening at their makeshift city hall. I need to sit down and talk to Mike. I need to see him now. Police say for them, domestic violence calls are the most unpredictable. You lie on me? You want to lie on me? I got something for you. Because there's so much emotion uh, with the people that you're, you're, you're responding to. Due to the uncertainty in any call, officers say these de-escalation tactics are crucial to keep both them and you safe. Let's go back here and get this guy identified. So we can build that confidence and trust and legitimacy within uh, the police department and the relationship with the community. The bed's clear. With photojournalist Neil Johnson, Christy Batista, WDRB News.